Hello students, I welcome you all back. Let us again continue our chapter that is cell structure and its functions. Today we are going to talk mainly about nucleus. We are going to study in detail about the structure of a nucleus. When you see this nucleus, there are few parts that is present in the nucleus. Inside a nucleus, there is another round structure that is called as nucleolus. There contains chromatin, then the outer covering it is called as the nuclear membrane and there are small pores present over the surface of the nucleus that is called as the nuclear pore. Okay, so nucleus is large spherical and that is present in all the cells. Okay, in animal cells nucleus lies in the center of the cell whereas in plant cells nucleus may be on the periphery of the cells. Okay, the nucleus is the largest organelle in a cell. Largest organelle means in a cell, the largest uh, in size would be the nucleus. And it can be stained easily with the help of a microscope. We can easily uh, observe it under the microscope. And the difference, uh, like uh, the nucleus is separated from the cytoplasm by a membrane called nuclear membrane. Okay, so the nucleus contains an outer membrane. That is why it is separated from uh, the outer environment cytoplasm by the nuclear membrane. Can you see this one nuclear membrane? This envelope separates itself from the cytoplasm. Then uh, what is the function uh, involved in the nucleus? So the transmission of the characteristics from the parents to the offspring is called inheritance. That means if some of the traits that is present in the parent or some of the qualities or some of the uh, physical, uh, like what do we say, physical, um, like, uh, like physical appearance, for example, green eyes or the attached ear lobe, all these are the some kind of characteristics of the parents. These can be transferred to the offsprings and this is called as the inheritance. And how does it occurs? The nucleus contains thread like structures as chromosomes. Okay, so that means you have to remember the word chromosomes. From the chromosomes, there is the transfer of the characteristics from the parents to the offsprings. Here is this diagram again, elaborated diagram. Can you see over here? This, this is called as the chromatin. Okay, this is called as the chromatin. And they join together in, in a form of a structure which form into another structure that is chromosomes. Okay. And chromosomes contains a gene. Okay. And this gene is transferred from the parents to the offsprings. Okay. And nuclear membrane is to protect its, the, protects the nucleus and it's separated from the cytoplasm. And this is the nuclear pore, nuclear pore which allows the inward and outward movement of the particles. So chromosome contains gene as I told you chromosome contains the gene okay and the function of the chromosome is to transfer the characteristics from the parents to the offspring and uh, the nucleus also contains tiny round structure called as the nucleolus in the previous uh, diagram you must have seen if there was the nucleus if there was a nucleus inside one more round structure was there so this structure was called as the nucleolus okay. And uh, the nucleus containing chromosomes and nucleus is bound by a membrane called as the nuclear membrane. I talk, told you about that. And in this, chromosomes are involved in which gene is present and it is considered to be the unit of inheritance in living organisms and which is transferred from parents to the offsprings. Okay, then how does the uh, like inheritance occurs? When during the reproduction process, when this gene is transferred from the parent to the offspring, then the same characteristics will be appearing in the offspring. Offspring means the baby. Okay. And next one is gene controls the transfer of heredity characteristics from parents to the offspring. That means that our parents pass on some of their characteristics features to us through the genes. Okay. So very important term is called as the genes which is present in the chromosomes. Okay. And chromosomes is derived from the chromatin. Okay. And this chromatin is present in the, inside the nucleus thread like structure okay and uh, what can be the examples what can be the transfer characteristics uh, what is it uh, what kind of characteristics can be transferred it can be the color of our eyes you must be like observing some of the parents they have green color eyes so the ch uh, children will also have green color eyes uh, the color of the hair maybe someone would have brown color someone would have black color someone would have straight hair someone would have curly hair everything depends upon the parents 
shape of the nose as well as our complexion if the father is dark the child also becomes dark if the mother is uh, fair child also becomes fair in the same way appearance also sometimes you must be observing some of the children they are exactly the copy of their parents so this is appearance okay and next one is uh, the different combination of genes from both the parents results in different characteristics but sometimes what happens from the father and from the mother both the characters will be transferred to the baby so it would be a totally different kind of a offspring so this is the another kind of another kind of example for the characteristics okay then the last one is called as the protoplasm if there is a like all living matter in a cell is called protoplasm for example this is a cell okay and inside the cell whatever the organs or the organelles that is present inside it they are called as the protoplasm okay and it is a liquid substance which is present inside the cell membrane okay cell membrane ke andar mein present hota hai and it includes the cytoplasm the nucleus and the other organelles and it is made up of four elements that is these are some of the co like uh, compounds which are making up the uh, structure of the protoplasm okay so you can see uh, the inner structure of the cell okay uh, or or the nucleus you can say this is the nuclear envelope nuclear pore also you can say round structure is called as the nucleolus nucleoplasm chromatin material which will be converted into the chromosomes and this chromosome contains the genes and this gene is transferred from the father to the baby okay so in the book it is uh, this is the uh, like uh, the image you you can see of this nucleus you have to underline in your book also it is spherical and located in the center of the cell this is the first point and it is separated from the cytoplasm by a nuclear membrane what is the function of a nuclear membrane it separates the nucleus from the cytoplasm okay and this is porous and allows the movement of materials between the cytoplasm and inside the nucleus the function of cell membrane and the nuclear membrane is almost same okay and when you will observe it under the microscope you will see nucleolus chromosomes and these chromosomes contains genes which helps in the inheritance or transfer of the characters from the parents to the offsprings this is very important you need to understand it okay and as well as the nucleus in addition to its role inheritance acts as, acts as this is very important okay acts as control center of the activities of the cell you have to underline this one okay what is the function of a nucleus it acts as the control center of the activities of the cell that means the whole function of the cell for example this is a cell okay for example this is a cell and if there is the nucleus that means the whole activity of the cell is carried out by this what nucleus so this way the cpu is the mind of the or brain of the computer in the same way here nucleus is the control center of all the activities in the cell and all the living cells that is content that is pre present inside the cell is called as the protoplasm okay and what does it include cytoplasm and nucleo nucleus and the protoplasm is called as the living substance of the cell so this is all we have studied about the nucleus so the here is another uh, point uh, like separately it has been mentioned that is gene gene is also a very important thing that we need to remember okay first of all you need to uh, learn this definition gene is the unit of inheritance in living organisms it what it does it controls the transfer of hereditary characteristics from the parents to the offspring that means whatever the character is present in the father or the mother it will be transferred to the baby or the offspring offspring means the babies okay or the young ones you can say that means uh, your parents pass some of the characteristics on to you if your father has brown eyes you may also have brown eyes if your mother is curly hair you may also end up with the curly hair and when the father and mother both the genes combine together then the result would be a different characteristics okay so again the same thing i have mentioned here also so examples could be you can see mother if curly hair you will also have curly hair if the father has blue eyes brown eyes or blue eyes then the uh, baby would have also the brown or blue eyes when there is the combination of the mother and the father then there would be a different characteristics okay 
so that's it all for today we have studied about the nucleus genes and chromosomes thank you students we'll be meeting up in our next video bye bye